Okay guys, that way is Calvary and onto Nantwich. Uh, here is the Bunbury staircase lock, which I was going to do tomorrow. So I've just opened the top gates, top paddles. So the water's now running into the top lock. Now, I'm a little bit sort of nervous about this because I've not done many staircase locks on my own. The drill is, because the staircase locks, they're right next to each other. There's no pound in between, just out of one lock and into another. So they're not very common, these things, and they've got to be done a certain way. So now, while the top lock's filling, I'm going to drive my boat into the bottom lock. So, because it's leaking so much that I feel as if the safest thing is to get the boat in, get the bottom gates closed, and by the time I've done that, the top one should be full. Now, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm going to fill the top one and then close the top gates. That's what I'm going to do. I don't like leaving these bottom gates open because of the state of this leash. I feel like I'm wasting water. So, I'm not going to abandon my pace for that. I'm going to... Some uh, American uh, old crew, four Americans, uh, just came down through this lock. Uh, see, to one guy like very much in charge, shouting orders at everyone, at his own crew, and uh, yeah, maybe it's an American thing, uh, like they can get away with being a bit officious. Uh, maybe he's ex-military. And his mates just don't mind. Uh, but anyway, perfectly nice uh, gang. They've just gone, they've left the bottom gates open, so I ready to go in the bottom gates. There we go. Okay, so the drill, the drill with the staircase lock is to fill the top chamber, bottom cha uh, top chamber full, bottom chamber empty. Uh, now I've only gone down through these so it's kind of just in reverse but the same deal so I'm just filling the top chamber and then I'm going to sail into the bottom sail cruise and close the gates which is down there so the bottom the top is almost full and I think what I'll do rather than leave these open I'm going to close these paddles because I don't want to screw anything up there might be something odd about these staircase locks that I don't get. So I'm gonna close the paddles. Just in case there's anything in this and then I'm because it's nearly full. So across the little gate. Uh, sorry yeah across the top of the gates. Close the other one. And to do that you lift the catch and Turn the handle, lift the catch, and the gate then goes down. Oops, I let it go, and it free wheels, never do that. Right, top one's nearly full, not quite full, uh, but I'll sort that out and just top it up uh, in a mo. So now I've got to go down, get the boat into the bottom block. And with, I think then we're in an ideal, we're almost ready. Maybe just top up the top one a little bit because the top one is leaking. The gate here, there, leaking really badly. So even by the time I get the gate in, the level in there is going to be down. And we're, we're getting to a point where it's going to be down so much that there's no longer enough water to come down into the bottom chamber and lift me up because that's the deal. You fill them up, top one full, bottom one empty, the water moves from the top into the bottom and there's just enough it's measured you know and uh, there's enough so that uh, the bottom chamber and the top chamber become level and you can drive the boat out that's the theory so let's see I'm going to take the boat in there see what happens so here we are pulled away I'm going into the bottom lock and as you can see 
the gates at the, the other end of it are absolutely leaking terribly. So I, it's just all going to be a bit of a faff, this. Uh, because by the time I get in and get the bottom gates closed and climb out and all the rest of the, f the thing I do, it feels like the top lock up there, that I'm, the top chamber, might be half empty because it's leaking so badly. So I feel like I might have to top it up a little bit. But in any case, first thing is get me get the boat in. There's a ladder on the side there. I'm heading for that, which is why I'm heading in towards my left. It's all deserted. Anglo Welsh Hire Boat Company, which is here, based here. Is uh, all the boats are out? Is that after five o'clock? It seems a tad early to be so quiet, but anyway, none of my business. So I'm nosing up to this ladder you can see on the left. I'm just going to put the boat into a slow reverse, and I'm now going to climb up that ladder once I get level with it. Go past the gate. There's the gate, got to get past that. Okay. Now into reverse. Basically, stop the boat. I need to stop the boat from moving forwards and then get myself over to that ladder. So I'm going to have to do this two handed, so camera off. Okay, so uh, sit rep. The boat is now in the bottom chamber, gates are closed. I've come back to the top chamber because, as you can see, it's already emptied out to a degree. So I need to reopen, reopen these paddles. There we go, reopen the paddles, cross over the little gate. It's a large gate, it's a little pathway. So yeah, reopen the paddles, refill this top lock, and the theory is, okay, I'm gonna let that fill. The theory is that there's enough water in this top lock here to drain into the bottom one, and both locks are then on a level. They're both on a level and you should sail your cruise your boat straight through into the top lock so the boat's there uh, so step number one get this top lock filled so there's enough water in there to balance out with that lock down there a little bit scary because if there isn't enough I I can't sail the boat from there because it'll grind on the bottom on the bottom of the lock but there's got to be enough water in this top lock it is filling so that's okay I'm a little worried about turbulence down there because the boat's not fantastically secure uh, so that's a bit of a worry when I open these gates here to let this top lock out the first thing's first now there's a woman coming behind me so best sure Okay, sit rep. Bottom lock is, is filling. Boat's not jammed up on anything. It's not very secure on that little rope to the ladder. So that's rubbish. But the movement isn't too violent. The boat's not bouncing about. So that's good. I've only got one paddle open. But the water's flowing in slowly. But it is flowing in. So the only issue I might have because I'm going slowly is that bottom gate there might empty because that's got a leak as well. And if that empties too quickly, I'm not left with enough water between these two locks because it's strained out and I can't I haven't got the level to sail the boat in you know and I hit the bottom so hopefully that won't happen uh, but the top one is draining nicely as you can see and into the bottom one here top chamber bottom chamber I should call them chambers let's get it right and here's a little view of the local area which is uh, rather lovely. Anglo Welsh hire boats there. Loads and loads of their boats out and about. 
people having a whale of a time. People love boats in holidays, they absolutely love them. Look at these historic, they, I guess they will have been stables, will they? Yeah, because look, the top door, separate hinges, top door. So they will have been stables. God, those horses must have earned their hay, or oats, or whatever the hell they got. So, I think I'm going to open the other gate, because this is, I feel like this is going too slowly. So, silent. Okay, so, a couple of minutes later, I've opened the second paddle, because it wasn't emptying quickly enough, I felt. Uh, so you can see, top chamber, bottom chamber. The level is getting closer. It can be a little bit deceptive, these things. You can think that they're not level, and they are, and vice versa. So, always worth giving the gate a little push, because if the gate will open here, yeah, the gate's opening, the level. Can you see the gate? So, so this is good news because as long as I can sail the boat in now, I'm golden. Right. Bottom gate's leaking out, but the top gate's leaking in as well. So maybe it'll all sort of balance out. So I need to get the boat over to this side because the ladder's on this side. So I need to open this left-hand gate here. God, this gate's where it's on. Okay, got to be opened with my backside. Oh, it's stiff as anything. So, so the gate's opening. I'm going to drive the boat in on this side and climb up that little ladder. There we go. Now, I'll know if there's enough water, because the boat was sailing. So let me go down. In fact, I'm going to lower these paddles as well. It's up ahead, guys. Those two lovely couple are helping me by working the lock. Fantastic. There we go, folks. In the background there is Tilston, uh, sorry, Bunbury Staircase Locks. All done, all finished. And there's a lovely little cat on that boat. So, need to turn around because the boat is rapidly heading for the bank. So we're all done uh, with locks now. Uh, I was going to split them up, um, but I misremembered. I thought there were nice places to moor after the fourth lock and there wasn't it was after the third so once i did the fourth lock which i think was the tillstone lock there was really nowhere to stop that was nice and with signal and you know it was heavily overgrown dim like a green tunnel huge trees damp bit muddy uh so yeah didn't fancy it and uh uh uh, an, an el that elderly couple, uh, I think I caught them briefly on camera, they helped me through the top lock, um, did the gates, I think, I, and in fact they did the paddles, let's be fair, um, so lovely, lovely uh, couple, um, and to be honest I wasn't that interested in getting to talk at first because the woman came over when I was winding locks and I, I wasn't in the mood, I was kind of like, just stop. Stop talking to me, I need to get these bloody locks done. Because you've got to concentrate on staircase locks. You've, you've got to get, the, there's an exact procedure and there's really no slack uh, for absent-minded idiots like me. And uh, anyway, uh, so she was talking to me and she ended up, she went and got her windlass and her husband and they both did the, uh, the gates on the top chamber for me. So I just sailed into the top chamber and uh, they closed the paddles or opened the, I don't know what they did. They, yeah, they opened the paddles that, and, and did the gate something, so that was fantastic. It's just a nice little bit of labour saving. And in fact, it, it's the case that most locks today, 
somebody's helped me out. Absolutely amazing. You just would not get that level of help. Imagine a passing motorist. Imagine a motorist will offer to push cars, won't they? Once they're in personal contact. But, you know, that the car doesn't normally slow down to give you a chance to introduce each other or whatever, you know what I mean? There's no, there isn't that initial contact for you to, uh, to strike up a conversation and get involved with boats. It's at such a slow pace that you, you know, you just, you're standing there, you just think, well, I'll help them out. Um, it's always, a, just always a little bizarre, or not bizarre, but just a little, you know, unusual, quirky little encounter almost at every lock. Like the American couple who were in the bottom chamber. American couple, there were two couples, um, with the older guy giving everyone orders, like Colonel Limp or whatever. Um, and uh, and then this, this old couple uh, coming out and helping me through the top chamber. So, uh, yeah, just quirky little people that, uh, but nice people, you know. I'm not going to make the mistake of talking politics with any of them. Um, as I fear what I may find out. I, I, I imagine I'm not going to be closely aligned. So there's a nice little GRP. Looks like somebody's working on it. There's not much of an interior yet. So a work in progress. So round the bend. Now, up ahead, what we have is Calvary Services. The problem is, if I go past Calvary Services, there's only a three hour morning for the cafe nearby. And I can't go on a three hour morning overnight. So I've kind of got to stop before Calvary Services. Because I know there's some 48 hour mornings, I remember them, because I stayed there last year. So I'm gonna stop short of Calvary Services for today. Uh, and then nip in there in the morning and uh, get rid of the rubbish, water, fill up. Water's pretty much full, but I'll, I'll top it up. Um, yeah, and uh, and then and then just stop at the restaurant on the three hour moorings, like legit. It's a long stretch of Armco, I could possibly do it, but no, nah, I wouldn't bother. Um, so yeah, and it's coming up, it's very close by. Once again, load of ruminants, or ruminants, enjoying some grass. Looks a bit sparse, looks like they've eaten the nice stuff. So, battery's low, so I'm gonna to have to turn this off soon. And I need to check the map to make sure that I don't miss these moorings, but I'm sure I won't, because I remember what it, kind of remember what it looks like. And I know it's not far. But, uh, yeah. I must admit, I'm getting a little bit peckish now. Uh, what time is it? 20 past five. So the one slight downside is, uh, by passing, by not mooring back there, and there weren't many moorings to be fair, it was all knocking in pins, and again, I can't be bothered. I've missed the chance to go to visit Bunbury, because once I stopped down here, I'd have to ride along the towpath, and it's not in good shape. I remember it from last winter, and it was, it was horrible. Lumpy, muddy, three inch mud, just, even on my mountain bike thing, I just, I really struggled with it. I had to just push the bike a fair way. And it's a good mile and a half of towpath or something. It's a while. So I've missed the chance to visit Bunbury, which is a shame. Look, there's a little shelter in there. Look. A little shelter deep in there. What's going on in there? People are just living in like, no, that, I, I mean, that, that, that tree house thing. It was probably just kids, but that looks like a shelter, looks like maybe someone's living there. It's all visible from the towpath, so it, it must be common knowledge. Who knows? Who knows? I just hope they're okay, because it's going to get bloody cold soon. But yeah, just living in it. Looks like a tarp ball, and didn't even look like a proper tent. So... Okay, so in the distance, you may see, oh, what's going on here? 
battery dying? Okay, camera off. Okay. This is Calvary Services. In there are showers, and I think an L sand point, the cassette toilets. Uh, there is my boat. I don't know what's in there. An office, perhaps? CRT office. And round the back is the bins. So I now, I filled up with water yesterday, so no point doing it today. Emptied all the bins in there. Uh, and I think I'm just about ready to go. So I'm going to carry on a little way down the canal. Because I've got a feeling I'm going to struggle to find a mooring. There's a little, a lovely little cafe a bit further down that I wanted to try. So I'm going to cast off here and see if I can just nose down a few hundred yards and moor up. We shall see. So here we are guys, there's a boat coming towards me down the canal, just moored up. Permit holders only, I'm not there, I'm in the stopping shop because in the morning, first thing in the morning I'm going to pop in there because there's a cafe and uh, have something to eat and then I'm going to carry on down that way. But uh, it's nice and quiet, lovely quiet morning, a couple of swans down there. And as I say, a little boat coming towards us there. We shall see. 